Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily... No, 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 no. Cut. <laughs> uh, let's start over. <laughs> Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your uh, January, January 2020 forecast for Pisces. Pisces, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for January. What do we got for January? Might be a do-over, as you can see. Hmm, what do we got for Pisces for January? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, this is for the month of January, and not every reading is for you. We get people who still don't understand that. They don't. They don't understand that not every reading is for them, but some people do, some people don't. Nine of Coins. This is a very self-sufficient individual who doesn't need anybody. Okay? Now, keep in mind, these readings can go vice versa. So this reading, when I'm talking, we could be talking about you, or we could be talking about the person that you are inquiring about. So this person is very self-sufficient, very stable, very solid, very secure. Has plenty of everything to succeed. There's, there's no worry here. A very strong individual. Ooh, we could be dealing with a Taurus. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. Doesn't have to be, but this is a higher power involved. There's a higher authority here. I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but... This is somebody who is very spiritual and connected to the divine. Somebody that has a divine connection. Um, this is God or a higher power that is involved. This is also faith and trust. Um, believing in yourself. There could also be some legal issues here that are coming into play. There could be some legal matters. We do have somebody that has plenty of... Well, this is capable very capable of succeeding so this is somebody that is very capable two of cups this is a split okay this the two of cups is a split so somebody this could be a split of a marriage this could be a breakup okay this is a commitment that is uh not compatible there's a disconnection here and this is going your own way this is an independent person i don't need anybody S commitment split so somebody this is a split this is absolutely a split. I mean, I don't even need any more cards. Seriously. From independence. And this is in, this is a couple. Okay, the two of cups. This is a couple. Split. Going by myself. And this is a marriage. This is, I mean, it, I can't, it is what it is. Okay. This is, this is the end of a commitment. The end of a marriage. The end of a contract, the end of a partnership, I'm going my own way. That is what we got here. I'm telling you what, I mean, you can't, it is, nobody can pretty that up. It's meant to be. This is a higher power. There's a reason. This is a higher authority that is in charge. So, this is a partnership that is breaking up. There's a higher plan. This is your higher plan. Oh, I may have something. There could be a child or somebody that is younger. Uh, this is some. This is a troublemaker, perhaps. Okay. There's somebody. There's this is somebody who speaks the truth. They don't care. Is they're very authentic. Sometimes, sometimes people get their nose in where they shouldn't get their nose in, or they butt in, or something like that. This is somebody who um, just speaks. They speak honestly, very bluntly, very matter of fact. Just says whatever's on their mind. This is a message you don't want to hear. So, hmm. eight two of wands reversed. There's been a level of indecision. Somebody has been at that crossroads and not being able to make a decision for quite some time. It's like they've been thinking about it and they've been going back and forth. But there's been a fear of change. There's been a delay for some reason. There's been some sort of uh, 
wanting to go but not being able to it's like all of it but then this could be sudden so it's like it's been on the table for a while now somebody's been wanting to leave but they haven't been doing so because of you know it's safe it's safe right here this is safe but this is this is a message you don't want to hear something there's going to be a message that brings about a conflict this is a con conflicting message that arrives somebody younger is delivering this message this freaking light is blinding me oh my goodness gracious the ace of cups reverse this ain't love this is not love King of Cups. This is somebody who is looking for love, looking for real love. Somebody that is very feeling. I, you know, somebody that wants love. I mean, has really good intentions here and has a lot of love to offer, but it's like he's not getting the love that he deserves or he or she, whatever. But this is like, there's no love here. Oh, somebody's definitely saying goodbye. Somebody, and somebody is. That is goodbye. See ya. I want something more. I want to have it all. This is this is emotionally disappointing. With the Eight of Cups reversed, it's not reversed, is it? Same thing. Reversed is thinking about leaving. It's extremely emotionally unavailable. But staying there and pretending. This is no longer pretending. I'm. I can't stay here anymore. There's no love here. I gotta go. Saying goodbye to an unrequited love situation. It's just no, there's no love here. That's what this is. Saying goodbye to an unrequited partnership where there's, there's like, and really it's like, see ya. I want big love. Hmm. And oh my God, this person has, and like I said it with this card, it's funny how they're lined up. Been thinking about it. And there's that ace of cups that is reversed. I've been thinking about love, thinking about love, thinking about what love is, thinking about big love, but staying in this safe situation with somebody. Somebody has been staying in a unhappy relationship because it's safe to dreaming about something more. But somebody is definitely saying goodbye. This person's going to follow their heart. And their heart wants love, wants a relationship that is uh, reciprocal there's a lack of reciprocation here these cards had fallen out knight of wands reversed three of coins and the queen of cups so it looks like we have a couple here that are both looking for love okay we have two people that are looking for love but they're not getting what they want or need or deserve from the person that they are with that's what it looks like to me or from anybody maybe they're just by themselves and they're just waiting 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 because um, we do have a very capable independent person here who doesn't need anybody and is just waiting waiting for the right one to come along this person doesn't have love right now so we do have somebody that's not getting the love but this person is going to get some I think that something is gonna happen here because we have a re it's like this person wants a relationship Somebody is looking for a relationship. But this Knight of Wands, we got reverse. That's somebody that has a chip on their shoulder and moves really fast and doesn't stick around. We could have an immature in the per a person, somebody that is very childish and immature that doesn't think before they act. And maybe they choose people. They choose people that they're not compatible with just to have somebody interesting now this right here is working together teamwork somebody is thinking about what they have lost or thinking about a missed opportunity perhaps somebody that they worked with in the past so that's what this person is really thinking, 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 thinking about, well, it doesn't have to be somebody they worked with, but it's somebody that they, that they have feelings for. So I think we have somebody that is really thinking about somebody that they have feelings for, or they're thinking about, they're missing somebody. 
They are. They're missing somebody. And I think that's probably why they're going to walk away. They're going to walk away because they want to off there. There's a, there's a big, there's a beautiful person here with a big, big heart that they're thinking about. They're thinking about this other person that has a really, really big heart. This person is loving. This person is caring. This person is a mother and gentle and kind the whole nine yards. <laughs> but we got somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder with a knight, the knight of wands reversed. Now this could be anybody. This is somebody that is reckless. Somebody that rushes into things. Somebody that is loud. Somebody that is a troublemaker. Somebody that's overly competitive has a really bad reputation. This person that has a bad reputation is losing something. They are losing out on love because this it feels like they're being left. They're being it's like they're they're being left. The person that has the bad reputation that is based out of ego because this is it is being left behind. So we do have somebody cause they are. So the person that is a troublemaker cuz this is your troublemaker right here. Not this one, this one. We have a troublemaker that is being left behind. And there's probably going to be some sort of conflict that causes this exit. because I, And I think it's a sudden exit. Um, I think that this is all happening for a reason with that Hierophant up there. There's a higher power involved. Perhaps you are meant to work with somebody else. Okay? And that whoever it is that you're thinking about, because I think that you guys are thinking about somebody, because it says thinking long and hard about somebody else, but underneath it, it's like you're in some sort of safe situation that you're not compatible with. For some of you, this seriously, the Two of Cups reversed, there's just no compatibility here. But this is somebody that is wanting love, looking for love, available for love, and somebody from the past. is somebody perhaps that you have some memories with this is memories nostalgia uh, past hmm, my goodness gracious um, hmm. oh things are going to happen really 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 fast this is fast moving energy now, this is an arrival or, or facing opposition, getting in the driver's seat and taking charge of a situation, taking the lead. That's you or somebody else getting behind the wheel and taking action. This is a card of transformation. Forward movement. This is victory. This leads to victory. This leads to success. But, but, if, but this is somebody moving or leaving and heading in a new direction very, very fast, things change just like that. Somebody's moving. They're taking the high road. It's like they're getting, it's like they're finding the willpower and they're replacing that fear and they're getting out. They're leaving. Somebody is leaving and they're leaving fast. And there, there's a lot of memories here, so there's a lot of remembrance or remembrance, whatever that is to you, remembrance. Maybe there's a, a period of remembering the good times, whatever. I don't know. Somebody's moving. They are. Mm, out of an unrequited love situation. It's, there's no, this isn't no fun. There's no playfulness. There's no happiness. Um, this per this person over here doesn't want responsibility. We have somebody here who doesn't want any responsibility. They just want to have fun. They're not looking for a commitment. So we have somebody that is getting out of something that they were committed in because they, they just don't want to be in a commitment. They don't want any responsibility. They want to 
They want to hit and run. So we have somebody else that is leaving and they're leaving. I think it's a very split decision. Okay. It's a very spur of the moment thing. Somebody's moving. This person's been thinking about it for a long time. They have, and they now, it's not, now it's like, this isn't love. This isn't what I want. And I deserve love. And I have a lot of love to offer. And that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for true love. So I, I do see that somebody is leaving. Okay. I also feel for some of you, somebody could be headed in with that chariot card. That is, that it that could go in the either direction. Okay. Um, there is a couple here. There are two people, but these two people aren't together yet, or they aren't together right now because there's a distance between them. There's something in the middle. There's something in the way of these two people connecting. Um, it has to do with teamwork. It has to do with collaboration. It has to do with communication. There could be a lack of communication or no communication. You see the distance. Okay, there's distance between these two people. There's something in the middle. We have somebody here that needs to take action. They need to take action to bring success to a relationship, but they're not taking action. So I think that they could be losing an opportunity because they're not taking action because this person is close to exiting. This person is, is either, this person could be because this person didn't take action. This person doesn't want a long-term commitment. This person just wants to play. So I feel like we have this player over here that just wants to play. So this person is exiting. Adios, amigos. So, yeah, that's what I see. Um, there's a higher power involved that is guiding this. This is guidance. This is guiding this whole movement that is guiding this change. So be prepared to hear a message that changes your direction. Whether somebody says they're leaving you or you're leaving them, that's what I see. Somebody is definitely saying goodbye. There's no doubt about it. And there were the first three cards that came out, seriously, from being in a partnership to becoming single. I mean, that is what that is. I can't. That is what that is. Good luck.